Well, Tammy, the relationships unfolded left and right. What was in the air in paradise during last night's episode? Because something was going on. <laughs> I don't know what was in the air, but it was chaos. Hey. Us, which we need to talk about because now you are in a love triangle, which we love to see on Paradise. Like, I need to point that out. We love to see it. But, you know, you kissed Thomas and he's Aaron's mortal enemy. So what, what was going through your head? What made you do that? Um, I guess it wasn't shown, but like me and Thomas had a really good day together as friends. Like I didn't even think of anything romantically with him until later that night. And as far as it being right in front of Aaron, the beach is very long. We were half a beach stretched away from them. I didn't even realize Aaron was there watching everything. So setting yeah. the record straight then because we thought, you know, it was right in front. No, it's, it was a very long ways away. Cause we, people go to that day bed because it's so private. Clearly not that private, but. <laughs> Clearly not that private. Well, after you guys kissed, things got dramatic and also just kind of nasty. You were called several not okay, nasty things. So what was your reaction to hearing that? Yeah, um, it was very disappointing to hear, um, especially because like I've, I thought James was my friend at the time. I helped him the week prior with like the Victoria P stuff. And I, I remember, I don't, I don't hear any of this stuff until I watch it back. So um, it was disheartening to hear them call me very like provocative names like dog and trash human, just because I'm w kissing someone that they don't like. And I don't understand what their hatred towards him has to do with me. So, um, but we're all, we've all worked it out. So we're good now, but. I forgive and forget, so. Okay, I'm glad to hear it because I know Aaron did post on Instagram and was like, be nice. Cause you also posted on Instagram saying you kind of felt, felt slut shamed a bit. Yeah, um, because imagine if it was one of their boys, you know, going after a girl that they wanted, they would hype them up. They would, you know, pride him for something that a woman would do, we would be slut shamed for. And, you know, I think that's a very common thing in society too. It's like. How come we hold this double standard for women against men when we would praise a man for doing the same thing and slut shame a woman for doing the same thing? Right. And at the end of the day, that's, I mean, paradise is about exploring different relationships and we're only right. a couple of weeks in. Right. It's all about exploring different relationships, trying to find our best person. We're all trying to figure it out. We are not owned by anybody. I'm not owned by anybody. I don't owe anybody anything except for what I owe myself. So what is it about Thomas? I mean, there's clear chemistry between the two, and that was <laughs> obvious. <laughs> um, we're very much alike, you know, and I think we're we related on being both misunderstood villains of our season. Um, it wasn't shown, but we had like a two hour conversation at breakfast when it was just me and him before anybody woke up. Um, Cause I know that he had a really hard time, really hard first day coming to paradise. And I can only imagine how that feels after quarantining, going on a date, getting dumped after your date, getting attacked by the boys, you know, and he, I know he didn't get much sleep that night. So I wanted nothing to do with him because I don't want to deal with egotistical men as what everyone was trying to put in my mind. And I'm like, you know what, I'm going to form my own opinion about him, had a solid conversation with him and just told him like how this world can really screw up with your mental health, especially with like strangers saying things online that aren't true as long as you know yourself. We just really bonded over that. Cause like, I mean, if you remember from my season, like it was, it was bad. Like the whole world was attacking me and it was really tough, you know? So I could only imagine how he felt and then coming down to the beach with everyone who's on the beach talking crap about him before he's been here. So I really left um, that olive branch out and we really bonded over that. Um, I tried to help him like talk to other girls because clearly Serena didn't want anything to do with him anymore romantically. I'm like, talk to Mari, talk to Deandra, you know, like blah, blah, blah. Cause like it was, I was not trying to explore anything romantic with him earlier that day at all. So what's gonna happen tonight's episode? What can you tease? Because, you know, we see there's tears, we see there's Aaron confronting you. So yeah. you can only imagine it's more of a dumpster fire as the word kept being brought up last night. <laughs> Yes, the dumpster fire continues. It was a wild week that week, and it, 
just twists and turns happen left and right. And tonight's just going to be even harder to watch back than last night was for me, I think. Because again, I'm, like, I'm reliving these moments that, you know, made me cry and, you know, made me feel the things that I felt towards both guys at the time. At that moment, I had no idea what I was going to do. I was trying to figure it out. So looking back, any regrets? Do you regret kissing Thomas? Do you regret the way anything was handled? Not at all. I have, I have zero regrets with my entire experience. I followed my heart and through and through, and we'll see if it works out for me in the end. But as of now, I'm very happy with the situation that I'm in. So yeah, I mean, unfortunately with me, what you see is what you get. I unfortunately will make mistakes like we all do, you know, and make decisions with men that might not be right and might could be right. So I'm just, I'm glad that everyone can see the journey and that know that I'm not a perfect person. I'm just trying to figure it out like we all are. Which is paradise. That's what paradise is all about. That is, right. you know, exploring yourself, having fun, meeting different people. Before I let you go though, Demi and Mari, what, what's your stance on that? That's the other big thing that's going to happen oh, tonight. <laughs> yeah. Um, I feel, I feel for Mari, I do, because I feel like all girls have been in that position before with they're not, the guy that they're seeing. They, I think she just wanted Kenny to be like, you know what, no, I don't want to explore the relationships. I actually do want you, I'm all in. That would have been enough for her to be like, you know what, this is it. Um, but he didn't, and because men um, don't catch the hint most of the time that girls drop. And I think it's all fair love and war that he explored other options because that's what Mari told him to do. So I don't think anyone should be mad at anybody. Um, to be fair, we were all in the season of The Bachelor and Bachelorette at one point, so we were all making out with the same guy and girl at some point. No one batted an eye, so. <laughs>